Literally, brothers and sisters, let me tell you this, whether you feel it or not, whether you've experienced it or not, whether, whether you can get it into your mind or not, this is the truth that you and I are holy ground. You know, we used to sing worship songs years ago. We're standing on holy ground. And, 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 and there were lovely worship songs, but the issue is the mindset behind the song is Old Testament. Because in the Old Testament there was holy ground, in the New Testament there's holy people. People had to get onto holy ground to be holy, but you are holy ground. Do you believe that? Holy ground means this holy ground has no fear. Has no unbelief. Doesn't involve in strife or darkness. Sickness and distress and poverty and disease have no place in holy ground. Now don't get offended if you're in poverty, debt, distress or disease or all those things. What is, what is happening to you is an attack and a battle to stop you being who you are. To make you focus so much on the illness or focus so much on the problem that you forget who you are. That is the enemy's tactic. His tactic is a weapon of mass distraction. He doesn't want you and I to be the living sacrifice, to figure out who we are, to figure out what the church could be like. Because if the church ends up being what it could be like, and if we end up being who we are, then he is finished. Absolutely finished. 